Hey guys, today I wanted to give you a quick update on an outstanding shotgun I reviewed last year, the Beretta 1301 Tactical. You can read the detailed three-part review of this gas-operated semi-automatic 12-gauge on our blog at luckygunner.com slash lounge. Just type 1301 in the search bar or follow the links in the video description. Some of you might remember that I also had videos to go with those articles, but we actually had to take those down. It's kind of a complicated story, but the basic gist is that some of the topics I covered in those videos had inadvertently raised questions about some very convoluted federal regulations involving imported firearms. So when we realized this, our attorneys decided we should probably play it safe and remove the videos rather than imply that we were offering any kind of legal advice. So with that out of the way, to get you up to speed on the 1301, this is an exceptional shotgun that's well suited for a home defense role and also just a really fun range gun. It's lightweight, it has soft recoil, and best of all, it's super reliable. It's fed every shell I've put through it so far, and since the last review, I have run into a few other 1301s at the range and in classes, and their owners have been impressed with the reliability as well. Unlike a lot of semi-auto shotguns, this one seems to just work. The 1301 is perfectly adequate the way it comes from the factory, but if you plan to shoot it a lot and you want to get really good with it, I think it could use a couple of tweaks for it to reach its full potential. Unfortunately, one of the problems I mentioned in my previous reviews is that there's kind of a lack of aftermarket parts and accessories for this gun. But Eridus Industries is one small company that's doing more than anyone else to change that. Over the past year, they have sent me some of their products to review, and now that I have had a chance to use them for a while, I wanted to show you guys a few of the improvements that are available for the 1301. The first is this shrouded bolt latch. I actually covered this one in detail in the third part of my review last year. This is one modification I would consider to be pretty much essential because it eliminates the only real serious design flaw in the 1301. Basically, you press this latch to close the bolt and you press the other side of the factory latch to unload the magazine tube. But if you accidentally press it on that end when you're not actually trying to unload the gun, it ejects multiple shells onto the carrier and it won't feed again until you clear the malfunction. So the Aridus shrouded latch basically disables that second function and makes it impossible to induce a malfunction. As an alternative, there is also a polymer shroud available from the Tau Dev Group. It works with the factory latch and it's just as effective as the Aridus latch, it's just not quite as pretty. The Co-Witness Ready Optic Mount, or CROM, is another well-designed Aridus accessory. It allows you to mount an Aimpoint Micro Red Dot Optic and still have a full co-witness with the Ghost Ring Iron Sights. The 1301 comes with a totally serviceable polymer Picatinny rail that works fine, but it forces you to mount the optics a, a bit high in relation to the iron sights and also in relation to the comb height of the stock. So with the Chrom, you can still use the irons and you get a more consistent cheek weld. It's not something I would call a critical upgrade, but it's definitely nice to have if you want to run an aim point on the shotgun. They also make one for Remington shotguns, and there may eventually be versions that will work with other types of red dot optics. This over here is the Aridus Quick Detach Shell Carrier. This is kind of the flagship Aridus product. What we've got is an aluminum plate that mounts directly to the receiver, and then this shell carrier that attaches to it. You just press this latch in the back, and that comes right off, and then you can load more shells. I've got six more ready to go right there. Now for most of us, this really doesn't have much of a real world application for a defensive shotgun, but it's really convenient to have on the range if you're in a shotgun class or if you're running some reloading drills and you don't wanna to have to stop every 30 seconds to refill your shell carrier. The other cool thing about this is the way it retains the shells in these loops. There is a little leaf spring inside each loop that holds the shells securely. So even if you wanna carry your shells brass down like this for easier reloading, you can shoot this gun all day and the recoil is not going to make the shells fall out, which is a common problem with other hard-sided shell carriers. When people see this, the first thing they usually say is, that looks really cool, what is that? And then the second thing they usually say is, that looks really heavy. Well, it's mostly aluminum and polymer, so it's not nearly as heavy as it might look. The whole thing is about 
7.8 ounces without any shells in it, which is about the same weight as six rounds of double odd buckshot. On a lightweight shotgun like the 1301, I really don't think a fully loaded carrier noticeably detracts from the overall handling characteristics of the gun. The Aridus Quick Detach Shell Carrier is available for Remington and Mossberg shotguns, and the Universal model I have here on the Beretta will fit on a variety of other shotguns. The last Aridus accessory is the one that I am most excited about, and that is the Magpul Stock Adapter. If you followed my shotgun series last year, you know I'm a big fan of the Magpul shotgun gun stocks. Among other things, they let you have a really short length of pull, which is critical for effective recoil management in a 12 gauge. Currently, Magpul only makes their shotgun stocks for the Remington 870 and the Mossberg 500 series. So Aridus came up with this little adapter that will allow you to attach the Mossberg Magpul stock to the Beretta 1301. The Beretta factory stock is really not bad. It's actually better than average for defensive shotguns, but the 13 inch length of pull is just a little too long for the average person. Using the Magpul stock with all the spacers removed, the length of pull is now reduced by 5 eighths of an inch. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but when it comes to length of pull, every little quarter of an inch is noticeable. For example, for me, when I would try to mount the 1301 from a high ready position like this, the rubber butt pad on the factory stock would get hung up on my shirt just about every time. So I actually had to adjust my technique, bring the gun away from my body, and then back in to mount it. But with the Magpul stock, I can usually just bring it straight up to my shoulder, and it's not a problem at all. I don't typically go out of my way to highlight a specific company like this, but I am making an exception today in the case of Aridus Industries because... Well, for a couple of reasons. First of all, they're one of the only companies making uh, stuff for what has become my favorite shotgun. And if more people buy their products, then hopefully they will keep coming up with new ones that I can try. But also, the firearms market is just flooded with low quality parts and accessories designed by people who frankly barely know how to even fire a gun, let alone how to make one better. So I wanted to bring attention to Aridus for making some well thought out, high quality products. If you are looking for some ways to improve your already excellent Beretta 1301, or your Remington or your Mossberg, take a look at Aridus Industries.